Should you trust autopilot? Uh, I don't have a Tesla. I've never driven one. But uh, talking to people who have, I've learned that Tesla's autopilot is not really as auto as you think it is. It's more of a nanny feature rather than a, a convenience feature. Uh, and my car has lane keep assist, which is just another nanny feature. It's not something you should ever rely on. But um, in all honesty, this works just about as good, if not better, than Tesla's autopilot. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna let take my hands off the wheel. And as you can see, the car is keeping it within the lane. Every time it drifts over, the steering wheel turns and it stays in the lane. And that's, that's what it's supposed to do. Now it will actually yell at me if I keep my hands off the wheel for too long, just like autopilot. But should I trust it in this curve? Probably not. See? <laughs> and um, that's kind of how autopilot works. Should you trust it in curves? Probably not. Um, so I, I don't, <laughs> you know, everyone marketed this autopilot with Tesla as this great feature that can drive the car itself and blah, 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 blah. But it's just not there yet. And um, it's definitely not something you should rely on. I mean, there's, there's too many incidents where if not an accident, an extremely close call with autopilot, if you weren't paying attention, it could have been a whole lot worse. And so, um, I think that's where people get confused. I was definitely confused about the whole concept of autopilot just because I thought that it was a self-driving feature. I thought that you could just set it and sit back and relax and play on your phone. Now, do I play on my phone while mine does this? Sometimes, yeah. Is that safe? Probably not. But, <laughs> um, in all honesty, I believe my car works as good, if not better, than the uh, Tesla Autopilot. Um, Tesla's autopilot will sometimes accidentally take interstate exits that you don't mean to take. And um, I tested that theory a couple times in my car and it would not take the exit. It stayed on the interstate every time. So, I mean, you know, just in that concept alone, I was really impressed with how it worked. So, but either way, um, should you trust it? Probably not. And uh, I think too many people put too much trust into autopilot. Uh, I, you know, I had a completely different opinion about it a year ago because I honestly thought that it was better than it is. And then I talked to some people who have Teslas and I talked to them about how their autopilot works and it's like, wow, you know, that, that doesn't work well at all. <laughs> and it works well. I mean, it works. It does what it's supposed to do, but it has too much room for failure and too many close calls. So, should you trust it? Probably not just like you shouldn't trust what I have because it's not flawless. I mean, you've seen it not turn. It turned in the curve back there, but it didn't have enough force. So uh, it didn't turn. <laughs> so it's not flawless, but it works. It helps. It's a babysitting nanny feature. That's really all it is uh, to make sure that you stay in your lane. And if for whatever reason you're not paying attention and you start to drift out of the lane, the car will alarm and you know let you know, hey, you're going out, you're going out. I can't turn that steep. But you know, I would have already been in the other lane by the time it did that. That's why I grabbed it there a while back. So it's like it's not perfect, but I guess it helps. It helps, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's my that's my take on autopilot and lane keep assist systems. I haven't tested out. I know there's a new one coming out. Um, is it Nissan? ProPilot? I don't know if it's Nissan, but it's called ProPilot. And it's supposedly like autopilot, basically the same thing, not supposed to be as smart. We'll t I'll test it out one day and we'll see how it works. But right now, um, they're definitely not self-driving and they shouldn't be treated that way. <laughs>